We don't have to rely on two negatives to make a positive when subtracting a negative. One way we can think about this is think about subtraction as taking away. For example, with negative four take away negative three, literally take away negative three. So the answer is negative one. With negative six take away negative two, literally take away negative two. So the answer is negative four. Now, what about something like one take away negative three? I don't have negative three to take away. So what I can do is add three zero pairs. You see, positive one and negative one create a zero pair. So when we add three of these, we still get one, but with this representation of one, I can take away negative three. And when I do that, I see that the answer is four. Now, another way we could do this is we could think of subtraction as if I start at one number, how can I get to the other number? And students in younger grades have seen 35 minus 18 as if I start at 18 on the number line, how can I get to 35? And they can see that we would jump 17 to the right, so the answer is 17. And we could do the same thing with negative numbers. If I start at negative 2 on the number line, how can I get to negative 4? Well, I would go back 2, so the answer is negative 2. Now, for the record, I am not saying to never do this. I do this all the time. What I am saying is that I think students should have the opportunity to make connections, connect subtracting negatives to what they already know about subtraction. And we could think of subtraction as taking away, or how can I get from one number to the other? More specifically, how can I get from the subtrahend to the minuend? And if we go straight to two negatives make a positive, we may miss out on those connections. And also, math is the study of patterns, so I like to put this on the board and ask students, what patterns do you notice? And if you had to write the next couple lines, what would they be? And while we are discussing this, students can say, oh, I see that this is equivalent to 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, and so forth. 